um, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Um, so today, um, as the title suggests, I'm going to be talking about my no buy um, while I get ready. Um, I have some stuff to do today, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some makeup on. But I figured instead of just me sitting down talking about my no buy because I have a lot of points to make. I'm, it's like a serious no buy. Um, I'm going to put on makeup while I talk about it. So that way, you know, you have something to do while I uh, <laughs> am talking about my no buy, if you want to stay tuned. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. So you may be wondering uh, why I decided to do a no buy. And honestly, hold on. Ooh. Sorry, I'm prepping my skin. Um, I just got inspired to do this from a few YouTubers that I follow that are doing no buys as well. Some of them are doing it for a year, but mine is going to be actually for six months or like to be de de determined. In six months, I'm going to reevaluate and kind of see where we are. I just feel like right now in my life, um, I have a tendency to stress buy and I started noticing when I started school and the kids got really busy that I was more prone to like spending my free time shopping or looking on Instagram for, um, you know, <laughs> all the things. And I was just like, it was just getting, I noticed a pattern within myself that I've seen before when I get really stressed out is like I either stress eat and right now I'm doing keto and like trying not to eat and so my like next best thing is like shopping and I don't know why I do this I really don't um I grew up with a few a lot of kids my mom had me and my sister and then my stepdad had three kids and then they got married and had my little brother and we weren't poor by any means but it, it took like we didn't we didn't have anything extra there was no extra and when we ran out of something, if we didn't tell my mom at a certain point, like with her getting paid, we just had to do without. And so I told my husband, I was like, I'm really bad at stockpiling things because like, that's how I survived <laughs> my teenagerhood and like my like young or older kid anyway. But anyway, that's aside from the point, but like, I just grew up very tumultuous, not knowing like when I was going to get something else to replace the thing that I needed like face wash or a certain kind of shampoo and conditioner because my sister and I have really severe psoriasis so we couldn't just use like the suave like that my other sister used. It was like, it was a mess. But anyway, all that being said, I noticed a pattern within myself after starting college again and I was like, mm, no, we're not, <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about my um, no buy and, and rules and putting on some, you know, concealer. So my first no buy rule, I'm going by categories because I feel like the, if I have very strict rules for things, I won't find the loopholes because I am the queen of loopholes and if there's a loophole I will find it and I will take advantage of it because that's just me that's just who I am my first one is on complexion products which are like you know um concealer foundation primer um anything that's makeup wise that is a complexion product um even like you know bronzer highlight uh blush you know, that stuff. Or I wrote down all of this. I put two of the same product must be used up all the way or no products, like no backup products left over to purchase another one. Essentially, if something bomb comes out, like a bomb, which I doubt it, but like a bomb blush, highlight, like palette or something that I really want, um, I have to use up two bronzers or two highlights or two um, foundations in order to purchase another one. Um, and that seems like a little weird, 
but I've tried to do a no buy before and it didn't really work out that well and I think it was because I didn't set out distinct rules and also I didn't give myself any grace or any leeway of like goals to like hit so I, I don't know if, it, if that would be considered a low buy or a no buy but it's for the most part most of these are a no buy um, because I have freaking plenty and I again don't see myself using up two bronzers within a six month period and purchasing another one if that makes any sense so it's like their goals to attain if I really want to you know whatever but they're not something that I can attain within like a month or a week or so so complexion products two of the same product must be used up all the way or have no br back up products left to purchase another one so if I have no more foundations I'll purchase a foundation kind of that that way but it, it includes foundation powder setting spray primer highlight bronzer and brow products I'm including brow products in this category because they're like staples for me and I'm not one of those people that's like Ooh, let me try out all the new brow things like it's a very much like a workhorse product for me so I'm including that in my complexion product um, situation the next category is eye products um, everything but eyeshadow all must be used up in each category for me to purchase anything like anything I because I have too many of this category and that includes eye bases eye sticks um, eyeliner glitter mascara false lashes and last lash glue um, so I have to have every ounce of this category used up before I can repurchase anything and that's for a reason I like recently purchased a lot of ColourPop eyeliners um, and then I also have a lot of I had some like glitter liquid eyeshadows I kind of include the liquid eyeshadows as like glitter um, because I don't want to get too many and them go bad like my Stila ones did um, mascara I don't really over buy mascara but it, I again with the queen of loopholes I will find a loophole and if I can't buy anything I will start probably buying mascara so I don't I don't want to do that to myself I'm being very restrictive um, and very I don't know the word for it but like I'm laying everything on the table I'm being very specific that's what it is I'm being very specific because if I don't be specific my butt will find a loophole and I will take advantage of said loophole so um, mascara is included in that even though it's not my problem area and honestly most of these aren't really a problem area for me I'd say like lipstick um, eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow um, and like a few other things that I'll talk about in a little bit are really my problem areas but everywhere else is just kind of like I'm just writing it down so I don't have a loophole you know what I mean um, next one which I've kind of already been doing this but I figured I'd go ahead and write it in because again queen of loopholes it's the lip product category and I wrote all lip products of the same category subcategory must be used up entirely before purchases can be made categories are lipstick lip gloss liquid lipstick lip liners lip balm subcategories are nude vampy reds pinks slash purples those are only for lip color products so like lipsticks uh, lip liners um, if I want to glosses or liquid lipsticks but for now I'm not obviously getting anything like that so this is very self-explanatory but I feel like I needed some sort of um, you know restriction until all of my lipsticks are gone I'm working on them right now so maybe you know very soon it will be donezo but who knows um, and then I also made a color category for this um, category or subcategory because I don't want to be without certain shades of lipstick even if it's one shade I don't like if I finish up all of a nude lipsticks like I don't want to just like wear pinks and reds I want to be able to have at least one nude so if I run out of all my nude lipsticks then I can go out and repurchase one nude so that way you know I have at least 
one of every color essentially that I would like need to create a look. The next one is kind of the main reason for this no buy along with a few other reasons but this one is like the reason why I'm doing a no buy and you'll probably guessed it. It is eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes. So let's get into it. Eye palettes. My rules are if I finish one eyeshadow palette, I can purchase one other one. So one in, one out type thing. So if I really want an eyeshadow palette, I have to really finish up the palettes that I already have. And I don't have that many now. I have like three or four. Yeah, like three or four. Yeah, four. I have four. One of them is almost done. So. <clears throat> and this doesn't mean that I'm like gonna go out as soon as I finish it and go buy one. This is just like, again, like I can give myself the option of buying a eyeshadow palette if I finish an eyeshadow palette. Yeah, and then it, for single eyeshadows, I added this because I also have a problem with single eyeshadows. Um, I wrote six single eyeshadows must be used up entirely before I can purchase two. And I only said two um, because if I wanted to get like say a shimmer and a matte or something like that like or shimmers this shimmer and this shimmer again gives me some sort of something to work towards um, and I feel like that's kind of why I'm going on this no bias I just want to use up the collection that I have right now so that way I can kind of almost start fresh and have a collection that's reasonable and that I can reasonably like not have to pay on if that makes any sense which sounds crazy because like that's kind of what I started my channel on but ideally I would not like to have to pan everything that is in my collection does that make any sense so yeah anyway this video is gonna be really long and I'm very sorry <laughs> for makeup applicators um, I just wrote none in all bold can be purchased unless it is broken, damaged beyond use, and or expired like beauty blenders and stuff like that, like when they're um, past their point of they need to be replaced. Um, so again, I did that so I wouldn't go out and start buying random ass makeup brushes that I don't need. Um, and because I have everything I need, I don't need anything, but my brain will always find the loophole. So I had to state that specifically for future Hillary because she is a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky snake. Let's on go on to a larger chunk of the no buy or a larger category and that is skincare, body care, and hair care. All from each category must be used up entirely before I can be purchasing another one. Again, I don't really have a huge problem with this. Um, just doing it for a loophole. Um, no hair accessories unless all are damaged. No hair, skin, body tools can be purchased. Like, I don't know, like one of those like Clarisonics or something. Or like a mask brush or something. Like something stupid like that. Cause I know, I know me and I will find that loophole and I will buy all of them, so. Um, so no tools for the hair and body or even like don't don't go buy a straightener like you have everything don't buy anything um skincare categories are cleanser makeup remover oil sunscreen moisturizer face oil facial spray detoxifying mask and hydrating mask so i have each category well covered i'm good in all the categories right now um I'll go into more detail. Body care categories are body wash, body butter, or like a lotion, um, self tanner, sunscreen, exfoliator, body spray, or like a perfume, nail polish, shaving cream, body illuminator. I added body illuminator because when this should be over, it'll be close to springtime-ish. And I don't want to, again, go out and purchase like all of the body illuminators because it wasn't on the list. So <laughs> I'm like being very strict on myself about these certain things. And then the hair care categories are shampoo, um, leave-in cream. I don't use conditioner because of my scalp. So I'm not con including conditioner in 
my like categories because I, I don't use conditioner. Um, Leave-in cream for my hair, like curly hair cream, a hair gel, hairspray, a heat protectant, hair oil, and hair treatments. Um, I don't really use hair oils and hair treatments at the moment, but I know when it gets close to um, winter time, I'll probably start because I get really, I mean, everything in my life gets really dry in the winter, so. Went ahead and wrote it down just in case. All right, now <laughs> we're going on to um, a category that I also need to kind of explain because again, I'm crazy. So it's the book category because I love books. I love to read. Hold on. I got a pumpkin spice latte today. Even though it has a lot of sugar in it, I'm doing keto and uh, no regrets. It's delicious. Anyway. So I'm a, an avid reader, um, but I have a habit of thinking I need to own the book instead of just getting it from the library and seeing if I even would like it enough to reread it and buy it, you know what I mean? So I put, you can buy two books per quarter. And so you know that like there's four quarters in a year. So it's like each season I essentially. So like spring, summer, fall, winter, each quarter. I don't think I've purchased any books yet. Um, I stopped myself, um, but this also includes audiobooks. The only thing that I have is I have an Audible account, and so I get one book e or audiobook per, like a credit for an audiobook per month. So those are excluded because I already pay a, like a subscription for my um, Audible account. And I like it because it's like I can re like I can keep my books and listen to them and stuff. So it's I don't know. I feel like that's like kind of excluded because I are, I'm already paying for the subscription and I already get like a free audiobook. But anything other than that, like if I go out and want to purchase an audiobook, that is included in my totals because I'm a loophole ass bitch. So, <laughs> anyways, um, and then I put at the bottom. Hillary, go to the effing library because y'all, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I love the library. Don't get me wrong. Library is my favorite place to be of all time. However, I don't know why I do this, but I'm like, oh, like, but I think I need to own the book. I need to like buy it. I want to, I want to buy it, but like, I don't need to buy it. I can just rent it or borrow it. <sighs> Anyways, moving on. <sighs> Shoes and clothing is the next um, thing and we're almost done. So anyway, uh, no shoes and no clothing items need to be purchased unless there are none left in the category. Each category are underwear, bathing suits, bras, tank tops, dresses, tops, shorts, jeans, sweaters, jackets, scarves, belts, any shoes whatsoever, PJs, <laughs> yoga pants, workout clothes and sweatpants and I made this very specific because again your girl loves loopholes I really don't need anything clothing wise I recently it's kind of like what inspired me to do this but I went to Walmart and I bought like a few things that I didn't need like just kind of like sweatshirts and things and a few cute t-shirts and <clears throat> and I was like mm, I don't need to be doing this anymore this is ridiculous because we're trying to like conserve money and this does not help. So I went ahead and just added a clothing and shoe subcategory because mm -mm, no, no. The last two categories are home goods and accessories. Now accessories, it's like you no know, jewelry, watches, purses, wallets, etc. Like anything extra or like hair accessories, any of that, none. I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't, I don't need it, I don't need it, I have plenty. So anyway. Home goods is my last one because that has always been my downfall. That and eyeshadow. I don't know why. I like, I love to buy cute decor and like candles um, for my house. I like, I want my house to look cute and like for my kids' room and organizers. I have a problem. So, first one is no candles can be purchased until all are burned out one can be purchased when all are burned out. So 
Uh, and I have a candle for each room, essentially. I have one in the, our bathroom, the kids' bathroom. I have one in the living room, the kitchen, the kids' playroom, and our room. And I don't have any candles in their room. Their room is entirely different. But <clears throat> if one in those categories burns out, I can purchase one candle to replace it. That way I'm not doing without candles because I love candles, but I don't need to buy a, like a whole crap ton. I don't need to buy like five backups. Um, it's just, it's unnecessary. So, um, the next one is no home decor can be purchased. Um, that's really self-explanatory, nothing in the home. And that's including like, cause I also added no ho holiday home decor can be purchased. I have a habit of, you know, going crazy when the holidays come around and needing to buy all of the cute things. And right now, unless something breaks, like, which I highly doubt it, I, we're not buying anything because we don't need anything. Like, I don't want to have an excess of anything because then I have to, like, keep up with it and, like, you know, I don't know. So we're good on all of that thus far. No pillows and blankets can be purchased. Again, loophole, loophole girl. I love cute decorative pillows and I love little throw blankets and stuff. Um, so, listen, listen, it's, it's a kryptonite. Like it's, it's truly my kryptonite it is cute home things. And that does not exclude pillows and blankets so I added that as well and the next two are no extra cleaners or fresheners can be purchased until there are none left that's just my loophole thing and then no dishes can be purchased unless the all in that category are damaged um, so like coffee mugs and plates and stuff like that just to give myself very defined uh, categories for everything and then I'm also like an avid um, crochet -er person. I don't know how to explain that. I like to crochet. I think I'm gonna write down here as well that I can't purchase any extra yarn unless I'm out of this, like I'm working on it one project at a time. And if I run out of yarn for that specific project, I can buy like one or two skeins, which is like a thing of yarn. Um, but I'm not gonna just keep buying a whole bunch of yarn again to stockpile because I have some yarn that I can like use or whatever and yeah so I just don't need to buy a whole excess of it so that's also included in the no buy um, again I said this is going on for six months well it I put six months or to be determined we'll see how that goes gifts are an exception to this no buy um, I'm not including, like, if someone were to go out and buy me a perfume and I already have two perfumes, I'm not going to be like, mm, no, I can't accept your gift. I'm on a no buy. Um, because it's not me buying it, it's someone else buying it. So, like, Christmas, my birthday, or whatever, um, are excluded from this no buy. Um, but if I get a gift card or, like, a store credit or something for whatever reason, um, that is like money to me and so for then I probably won't buy anything unless I'm out of something or um, you know like you know like if I get a Target gift card and I want to buy candles I'm not gonna go out and buy like five candles with my Target gift card I'm gonna wait until all my candles are burned out and then use that Target gift card same way for like Ulta Sephora any of those if I for some reason get a um, gift card I'm not using that towards my, or I'm, I am using that towards my totals. Like I don't want to still like overspend just because I got a bunch of gift cards. Two things that I'm kind of excluding from the no buy, I'm going to explain here in a minute is food items and like experiences. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I really would like to make it to where my kids and I and my husband can experience more things. And I felt like we were broke all the time because I was overspending like at least recently and so like any extra money that we had left over I was like I can't we, we can't afford it but we like we could afford it if I like saved my money like if I wanted to go to a concert we could just save 
and go to concert, but I have to be able to save money. So I'm not excluding like concerts or movies or like anything fun like that with me and the kids or even me and my husband. I'm experiencers are excluded and also food and drinks are excluded like i want to be able to go and get a starbucks like a pumpkin spice latte um i want to be able to go and get chick-fil-a for lunch if i want um just random stuff like that i'm only doing that because it would be really hard if i did a no buy for fast food and stuff because it's not like i'd go there very often i could not afford to do that but um, if I need something quick or, you know, I need to pick me up like a Starbucks drink in the morning or something, then I don't want to like tell myself, no, you can't have that because you're on a no buy. So also I feel like sometimes if like I take my kids to McDonald's or if I take them to an ice cream place, like we don't do those things very often. So those are kind of like experiences for them. So yeah, that's another reason why I'm not including food in my no buy so yeah that's my no buy um I am it's been really hard so far because I kind of started it halfway through this month um and it's been really hard I mean I have no self-control when it comes to shopping and it's a problem for me because I, I need that I would like to save my money so my kids and I can go on vacations with you know with my husband and then like I can you know they're gonna want to start like like my daughter's starting tennis and I want her to be able to like play and do things and for my son to start sports and so for all of that being said like I don't need to spend extra money on stuff that I could be spending on important things and it's really hard uh sometimes because we don't have any family out here it's just us um so i get really stressed out because we don't get breaks at all whatsoever and it's hard because sometimes we can't even afford to go on a date and pay someone to be the babysitter so for that it's it's something that i felt like we really needed to work on um and i felt like this is a great first step and for us to like be able to afford to pay for a babysitter to go out because usually it's like one or the other like we pay a babysitter or we go out so <laughs> um anyways like total tmi but it's just it's really important for me um it's something that like I, like if we have enough money like just a little bit extra for like the kids to do stuff and for us to do stuff but i want it to be better i want it to be like a thing you know you know what i mean want it to be i don't know i don't know how to explain i don't know what i'm saying i just want it to be better essentially so that's why i made this no buy six months i'm going on it so let's see what is that it's gonna be starting technically halfway through this month but i'm gonna say october 1st so march is when the no buy should be up, but we'll see about that. I might extend it a little bit to like maybe nine months. I'll be doing like check-ins and stuff. Um, that way I'm keeping myself accountable. I feel like that's been my biggest issue is like not keeping myself accountable on purpose. So that way I have, again, a loophole. <laughs> Are you noticing a pattern? So I don't like have a loophole and I um, can stick to it. Because even with telling my husband, like, I'll tell my husband I'm going on a no-buy. And I'll explain to him, like, you know, what I'm doing and blah, blah, blah. And even, like, me telling him is not, I feel like it's not enough anymore. Like, I have to, like, tell other people and have other people who are also doing a no-buy, like, understand that it sucks. It's not fun. Okay, actually, today I'm going to be using this Sydney Grace Twisted Shifter. I've been wanting to play with this eyeshadow since I purchased it and I went ahead and put down my NYX um, glitter glue. Ooh, this is really pretty. It feels very weird in the pan. Like when you go to rub your finger in it, it has a very dry, like glittery 
feeling to it, but like these are really hard to blend out in like the crease area. But they're really pretty. I mean, I like it. Um, all right, I'm gonna finish my makeup real quick and then I'll come back and show you the final look. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and put some gloss on and mascara and brows. Um, it looks kind of weird in this camera angle, but this is the final look. It's super messy and grungy and I'm like living for these sloppy makeup looks lately not for just time constraints but also i just like love like just kind of smudging things everywhere lately and putting like some shimmer up in the crease and it just kind of looking nearly editorial not quite editorial but like almost there and just like very lived makeup not perfect not crisp lines not like a perfect blend but just like a nice messy eye makeup look I don't know I've been living for it but anyway um so yeah that is my no buy for the next six months um I am really excited in seeing like how this kind of transforms my view on shopping um and makeup um I Feel like this is a really good step for me to work on myself uh, in that way and not have to rely on shopping and eating to feel better um, and find other ways to make me feel better and it's been a process but you know what it's worth it and um, it's it's good for me <laughs> I need this um, I, I have things that make me happy that I know that I do, but I need to make sure that those are the things that I fall on when I am feeling sad or mad or upset or anything. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and listening to this video slash watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. If you're doing a no buy, I know a few of you on YouTube are doing a no buy, but if you're doing a no buy, let me know so we can keep each other accountable. Um, I purchased, before the no buy, I purchased a few um, beautiful eyeshadows that I'm going to feature in my coming up update for my eyeshadow project pan. That'll be changing um, as well, so look out for that. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. I'm pretty sure my social media is down below if you want to check that out. Um, like and subscribe if you want to, and until next time, bye!